Hi! In today's video, I wanted to talk about jewelry, particularly a few different options and brands that I really like because when I've been looking for jewelry lately, I really want to make sure I'm choosing companies that have values like sustainability and being ethically made. I'm going to share a couple of the companies that I found recently and also show a couple of clips of the items of jewelry that I have from those brands. And in general, I think the overall theme of the style of jewelry that I go for is very minimal. I have a mix of both gold and silver. I actually have more gold pieces to share, I think. The first one I wanted to talk about is Thesis of Alexandria. I do have a necklace and two pairs of very small huggy hoop earrings from this company. The necklace is this really pretty gold with a pendant and I have the huggy hoop earrings in both gold and silver. Thesis of Alexandria uses gold filled and sterling silver jewelry. It's also made in California, so made in the United States. I like to go for companies that make their jewelry in the US rather than overseas because I feel that there is more likely to have a higher standard of the facilities as well as you don't have to worry about it being shipped from overseas, which would be less sustainable. Also, another really important thing to me is affordability, and I thought that the prices at Thesis of Alexandria were totally reasonable. I'm not one to splash out hundreds of dollars for an item of jewelry, so none of the brands that I'm going to mention today are going to pass that threshold of price. They also are part of a recycling program, so any scraps that they have get melted down and can be reused, so that means less waste. And the packaging that my order came in was just tissue paper and craft cardboard box, and it was very, very small as well, so I appreciated the lack of plastic or excess packaging. The next company I wanted to mention is Priscilla Ma. I don't know for sure if it's a one-woman show, but the website kind of made it seem like Priscilla is running most of the company. She might have some help, I suppose, but it's definitely a small business, that's for sure, which I do like to support. She also uses gold-filled stainless steel and sterling silver, and the prices are super reasonable. I actually ordered quite a lot from Priscilla Ma. I have a pair of gold-filled pretty small hoops, not huggies, but they're definitely small. And then I have a pair of cubic zirconia studs and two bar-shaped studs, one in gold and one in silver. And I also have a gold ear cuff, which I really like wearing with the gold hoops. And I'm not a ring person, but Priscilla Ma has a huge ring selection, a lot of really gorgeous minimalist ring pieces. I was kind of tempted to buy some, but I know that I wouldn't wear rings, so I did not purchase any, but she has a really great selection of rings and earrings um, as well. This isn't a specific seller that I wanted to mention, but Etsy is another great place to find sustainable, affordable jewelry. Just being able to search for like recycled materials jewelry or sustainable jewelry is really easy to find brands and people since Etsy is a lot of single person sellers rather than large companies. And I do have two pieces from Etsy. They were actually both gifts but I know that they went out of their way to find a seller who makes sustainable, ethically made jewelry, and I do have this bracelet, and I'm not a huge bracelet person, but this is just like so minimal and simple and clean. I just think it really is elegant, and I also have a necklace from Etsy, 
and it is gold with a little small marble piece as well. I think this is super beautiful. A few other companies that I wanted to mention, even though I haven't purchased from them yet, if I do want to purchase jewelry in the future, I definitely want to explore putting in some orders for these other brands, one of them being Luna and Rose. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the other brands I've talked about in this video, but they have like a closed loop production. So on their website, it talked about how they are basically zero waste and they use like 99% recycled silver for their materials. So it might be worth splashing out a little bit extra if I find a piece that I really like from them. Another good option is Ana Luisa. They are also a company that uses recycled materials. They also make their jewelry in small batches, which is a good sign. Baleen is another company that really interests me. The jewelry is not quite my style as far as I like to keep things super basic and simple and minimalist and Baleen is a little bit more eclectic in a good way actually, but they also have a US-based zero waste facility and they kind of go the extra mile by paying to offset carbon emissions for shipments, which I think is amazing. Another great option I wanted to talk about is Katori Life. They don't have as big of a selection as the other brands that I've mentioned today, but the items that they do have I think are really beautiful. And they are woman owned and they're a part of a couple of different organizations like 1% for the Planet and they also plant 20 trees for each purchase I believe also have a section on their website about valuing a living wage and paying their workers a fair wage so you know you know this is not made in a sweatshop or anything like it they actually even say that their workers start at $20 an hour which I thought was amazing and the last company I wanted to talk about is Atomic Gold this is such a cool company I noticed right away one of the things that they have is custom necklaces you can have them create your name or whatever word you want on a necklace and I always like the look of those they also use recyclable materials for their packaging and reclaimed gold for a lot of their pieces and I also noticed right away on their website, unlike a lot of the other companies that I've mentioned, Atomic Gold is super inclusive. Their staff, because I did have a look at their staff page, and the models that they use as well in all of the images on their website is like so inclusive. They have all genders, races, shapes and sizes and I thought that was really nice especially considering a lot of other jewelry companies you go on their website and it's pretty much a lot of images of just white girls. So those are all of the jewelry companies I wanted to talk about today for affordable options if you're looking to change the jewelry you purchase maybe from fast fashion to more sustainable ethically made choices. I think all of these would be really great brands to support, especially a lot of them being small businesses, which in the economy right now, which is not great, the extra purchases to them really mean a lot. So if you have any other brands to suggest, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about your recommendations, and thanks for watching!